What up? This is Dollar Coast Average Investing coming back with another video. People, I appreciate you for tuning in. If you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and smash the bell, people. So with that said, we're going to talk about Soundhound. And, you know, Soundhound, you know, could it be the next volunteer, people? We're going to get into it. Now, Soundhound is up 347% for the year, people. So, uh, where is Soundhound going at? I'm talking about now. With that said, um, a lot of I remember Soundhound um, when Nvidia first took off and everything, and the stock was pretty much the the stock was trading pretty like way down here, like three dollars, four dollars, and you know I went to scoop that up. You know I started scooping it up four dollars, three, four dollars a share and stuff like that, very cheap and everything. And we had we would run up and come back down. So I just kind of dollar cost average into it. Now, here we go. Soundhound's trading at $9.31. Um, I'm long Soundhound, people. Um, I'm, I'm diamond hands on Soundhound. So we're going to get into it and see what we got going on when it comes to Soundhound. So right now, can Soundhound AI be the next volunteer? So we're going to get into it. Now, with that said... Uh, right here now it says Soundhound AI is having a strong 2024 now Soundhound AI isn't trying to hide what it does is with the is with this name it has an AI power audio recognition platform that helps convert speech input to format that AI can use as an input now the note Nvidia has staking style um, Soundhound and stuff like that so that that should be um, you know, well worth noting and thinking about, you know, especially at these prices that Soundhound is at, you know, so many companies is, could buy into it. And so let's get into more of the article. Now, this technology has ramification everywhere and has already found many uses and cases. Now, Soundhound AI technology has already brought an AI-driven drive-through window digital assistance in cars and banking. This is wide use case and only just the beginning of Soundhound AI. As you can imagine, there are countless places where having accurate speech input into AI model would be very useful. Now, this is translated into booming business for Soundhound AI. Now, even if it's just a beginning stage of really seeing its business explode, in Q3, Soundhound AI generated $25 million in revenue, up to 89% year over year. For reference, Palantir generated $725 million in revenue. Soundhound AI is much smaller. Now, one of the biggest investment cases for Soundhound AI is its massive revenue backlog. This figures come from potential revenue that can be recognized if the contracts they sign pan out, which isn't perfect perfect metric, but it gives investors an idea how the business could progress as a Q3 Management stated that it's well north of $1 billion over a period of about six years. Now, to underlies the massive growth potential in Soundhound AI stock, it looks poor to convert some of the backlog to real revenue in 2025. Now, management guided the revenue between $150 and $175 million in 2025, considering that Soundhound AI 2024 projected revenue growth of $84 million. If its revenue double the next year, the explosive growth considering Soundhound AI backlog performance is likely to continue even after 2025. So, you know, you can see some of this, the metrics and stuff that they're showing and everything. Now, furthermore, the breadth of its revenue steams and expanded during the last quarter. 90% of revenue comes from the automotive section. Now, no sector account for more than 25% total revenue on a customer level. 72% of revenue came from a single client last year. This year, the largest customer account is only about 12% of sales. While Soundhound isn't a risk-free stock by any means, that level of diversification on a sector of a client represented the related, the related, the related risk of the stock coming down. Now, on the growth side, Soundhound AI is shaping up uh, to be a stock that might not just be the next volunteer, but one that could outperform it. But without, but you know, it said, but with, without any risk. So with that said, um, you know, that's, that's one thing when it, I looked at volunteer for years, you know, a lot of people had negative, you know, 
talk about Palantir and stuff. Um, when Palantir was seven bucks, six or eight dollars, um, I was buying it then, and just dollar cost share. I bought a stake in it, and then I dollar cost average in it and stuff, people. So when you dollar cost average and stuff, something like Soundhound, um, SoFi, Palantir, and these other stocks that's out there, um, you're you're basically just you, you don't want to go all in at one time, so you just buy a certain amount over the course of months and weeks and stuff and everything. And that's what I have done with most of my companies. That way I don't put so much in, and then if it if it pulled back, guess what? I could take advantage of these pullbacks and stuff. That's why dollar cost average. That's the best thing to do, people. I'm talking about, so, you know, that is the name of my channel, dollar cost average, because I found out that I can minimize, minimize my risk and also... Don't put me in position to try to sell a stock because I'm down so much. So I'm looking in the long run. What I did, I put a stake down in Palantir, just like I did Soundhound, just like I did many other these companies. And then I dollar cost average into it and stuff like that. And it has served my pur it served its purpose and it done, I had done well. Now, right here, I'm going to read this little part here. It says, Soundhound AI stock is very expensive. Soundhound isn't a fly-by-night stock that nobody heard of is well known and generate premium valuation as a result just like Palantir same thing with Palantir though you know it was a, it 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 was well known and stuff but I figured you know for what I read and did my research Palantir wasn't getting the credit that was due for what they had going on but now the results are starting showing even right now people saying Palantir is overvaluing and stuff but I still think the stock is going to go higher. Soundhound, same thing. SoFi, same thing. There's many more other stocks out there in the same situation. But I think that eventually the growth is going to catch up and the stock is going to catch up. And, you know, a lot of people are going to miss the boat and everything. So with that said, people kind of want to talk about Soundhound. Um, I can see Soundhound pretty much at the end of the year, at least getting to about... It could go to about 11 bucks, people. Maybe 11, 12 at most, whatever the case may be. Could be higher, could be an upside surprise. But, you know, with that said, people, dollar cost averaging to these stocks and everything. Do your own research. This is not investment advice, stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't go heavy all in or nothing. I dollar cost put a, you know, I buy a little chunk, dollar cost averaging into it. You get, you get a pullback. Um, buy it up because all these dips going to be bought up and a lot of these companies and stuff. But when the year end rally that we're looking at, um, who knows, people? So we can have a good run. You don't want to miss out uh, with the transition administration. It's going to make a whole big deal, a lot of difference in some of these growth stocks and stuff that we've been talking about. So with that said, people, this is Dog Calls Average Investing, and I'll catch you on the next one.